Hello! I forgot I was supposed to come by and bring a trophy, so let's go and do that. Got a trophy for you. Well, that's worth uh, some hit damage by fifty percent of your resistance piercing. Nee. Increase your armor by eight hundred thirty-three and resistance by ten percent. That's awesome. Increase your magazine size by ten percent, which yeah, extra one bullet. Increase the skills duration by double. That would be good. Most firepower and cooldown reduction. I think I want to increase my armor by a heck of a lot. <laughs> nice. Why is the camera juddering? I'm guessing that you're supposed to find like a lot of things and they're supposed to like go through and show like all the stuff we've got them. It's only worth like 492 copper, what? Where did I find a top? Oh no, I already had one. In seconds. Uh, increase armor by 833 and resistance by 10%. Okay, I'm thinking... What am I thinking? I'm thinking... Take this. Move for two rounds, 10% weapon loot. I need new... I need something new on my gloves, and I can maybe upgrade my gloves. Okay, okay. I want to take basically both of these things. I want to take the level one of this, at least, and put it on the gloves. Increase range by two meters. Okay, look at my pants. So anyway, my armor is now 58% damage reduction. Let's talk to you. Oh shoot, I was supposed to do a thing. Quest map. Okay. Okay. So anyway, let's go and upgrade, I don't know, my gloves. I think it's this way, right? I'm going to go upgrade my gloves real quick and I'll be right back. And you have nothing to worry about here. Let me just... Hey, right, cool. So anyway... Hey, there. We got our... We got our upgraded gloves. Now let's go back to the wreckage zone. Let's have some water, too. Because water is important. Believe me. I would know. Okay, where am I supposed to go here? I'm supposed to go over this rock and through this tunnel. Did I already go through this tunnel? 
Oh, I went that way. Now I go this way. Hey, I heard that. Okay. Oh my gosh. Buzz off. Buzz off. I was just about to reuse that to warp back too. Oh my gosh, so many, like, big, strong enemies. And it's like, oh, hey, look, rifle. My window is closed, but it's hot in here. I need to reopen it. I didn't see the uh, radius thingy because the radius was this entire area. Cool, and it dropped something. So now let's go all the way back up here. Run, 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 run. Oh, look, there's still more. You. You again. You. Honestly, I mostly just use this ability as, like, an instant reload more than, like, anything else. Hey, you were dead! Die! Weren't you also dead? When did you get back here? Die. Oh, 
Only what, four enemies left? Three. More ammo, of course. What about just like loot? No, no loot crates? <laughs> loot crates are the best part of any game. You know, I don't even have to pause, do I? Ugh. I'm just gonna. Don, well, open the window. go and let's go in can we get five fight again no cool God, I don't know why it's been so dry lately but I'm glad I have all of this moisturizer I have like hand moisturizer well just generic moisturizer whatever that I use for my hands and I have like lip moisturizer I have Great big tub of lip moisturizer, and oh my gosh, it was worth what I paid for it. A hunt. I see you. Bloody Baron, bloody Baron, bloody Baron. More ammo, just in case. Uh, you didn't refill on the last one. I'm really liking the chains thing for like you hit an enemy and they're just dead. So, question that's been going through my mind is is this month just going to be entirely uh, Rune Factory 4, which I haven't even recorded uh, this month. I just had a couple of weeks of backlog all the way through to the 17th, 18th? One of those two. I haven't even actually recorded yet this month. Oh, look, another ammo drop. Um, yeah, just Rune Factory 4, which of course it is. And, like, Outriders? So I've been enjoying playing this. Like, I'm not playing this just as a, oh, I have to go and finish the game thing. It's like, no, I'm playing this because I've been having fun with this. Like, people who make these games know how to make them enjoyable for a while.
Alright, and yeah, that just dies. Gotcha. Buddy. Buddy, no. What, are you like too far away to actually do the kill? Yeah, I run out. Wait for all the people to start shooting me. As they start. You good? Boom. Your contract? It was a wanted poster. Oh, yeah, now I just have to wait and actually kill everyone else around here. Eh? No. No. Gosh, the way they just disintegrate is kind of brutal. Hey, buddy. What's up? Hey! Oh, look, there's another one. Okay, that wasn't enough. Is there something up here? Yeah, it felt like there was supposed to be something up here. There's also a door. Okay, I thought that the words hidden item just flashed across the screen for a second. Uh, I can't be certain. Oh, right. Also, get a nice harvest. I should play more Rune Factory before I completely forget what I've been doing. I had something interesting in mind, and I think it was on my birthday that I... Or it was for my birthday for that, so... Right, and because this happened way over here instead of way over here. Oof. Let 
wait, what? Okay, okay, let's go all the way back to... Wait, where are we? Are we here? Okay, wait, hold on, what's the map? No, we're here. Let's go back here. So all of this area was for that like one side quest? It's not a question, that was a statement. That whole area was for one side quest. Also, we kind of need the ammo right now. Or at least we would like to have ammo right now. If I die like a dog, does that mean I go to heaven like all of the other dogs? Doesn't sound so bad, actually. Nope. Too late. I got ya. Gosh, all of these people calling in, like, airstrikes? It's like, okay, I have to just sit here. Oh, that doesn't count as cover. Oh, I changed my gun. That's why I can't zoom in. And that's why I didn't get the specialty thing. And spot is dead. Yeah, how about we run instead of just walking? Cool. You know what game I really enjoy playing on this channel, now that I think about it? Yeah, how about I grab Chandra and we pull out some, like, army of two to play? Yeah, bring the old uh, Xbox over here, get through all of its quirks. Two of us just start playing, like, army of two. I remember, because, like, you can, like... Whoops. You can use, like, points that you get from, like, missions to, like, buy new guns and stuff and, like, upgrade your guns and... It's just this little feature that I found to be fun. Wasn't necessarily needed for the game, or... Except I had thought that it was, because there's one part where it's like, Hey, destroy this helicopter before it takes off. You can run all the way over to it, except you can't because it takes off in, like, one second after the mission starts. It's like, well... Just shooting the helicopter doesn't do anything. You need to get, like, a rocket launcher if you want to, you know, destroy it. So I went through and did older missions over and over and over again. Don't lead enemies to your allies. I never ran away from the fight uh, far enough for that to be uh, said. Although, to be fair, if we brought, like, a whole town's worth of people... A lot of people were not dying here. We brought in, like, more fighters. That would probably be good. Anyway, so I spent, like, a day or two. Like, a, at least a solid day, maybe two solid days. Just to get all of the stuff needed. All the points needed to, like, buy the rocket launcher. Because, you know, it's, like, the expensive gun. Uh, wrong thing, wrong thing, wrong thing. Uh, watering can challenge for this when? Uh, once they implement a watering can weapon. Uh, and then I went to like play through that mission with the friend I was playing through the game with. Yeah, so I'm like, oh yeah, check this, and then we get to the mission, I'm like, don't worry, I got the thing for this, and before I can finish saying that, the guy pulls out the sniper rifle that he has. I don't think he even was sniper rifle, the, like, assault rifle whatever thingy that he's got. And just 
like shoots a tank by the uh, helicopter that I hadn't noticed and just blows up the helicopter so all of that grinding for the rocket was actually worthless because the rocket launcher what isn't like a good weapon to have in the normal firefight of the game I got it specifically just for that and it was rendered moot like immediately Yeah, the chains thing is nice. Don't know where that enemy is, but... Your army of two, just the whole, like, you know, two people going up against the world thing, because most of the games that I play, I play in, like, you know, single player. It's one against the world, but even the single player of army of two, you're playing as, you're playing as a character who gives, uh, commands and stuff to the other player, but the difference between that game and, like, other shooting games, like this one, is that that game had an aggro system. Yeah, army of... So, like, one member could run in and, like, take the big gun, and, like, the scary armor, whatever, and draw all the aggro and be fired at, while the other one doesn't have the aggro. They can, like, sneak around and stuff and, like, pick off enemies from behind while the one, like, draws all the aggro. Instead of, like other firefighting game firefight games where that just isn't a thing that is an option Okay, so apparently we had a vision. But yeah, Army of Two. Um, nice game if uh, you and a friend just uh, want to have a fun romp through. <laughs> just want to have a bit of a fun time for a couple hours, you know? You know how it is? Gosh, I'd love to have someone to just like play these games with. Because like, hey, this is, you know, an online game. I could totally be part of a team and that would probably enrich the experience it would maybe enrich the experience I did suggest this game to somebody recently and she said that she would take a look at it and see if it was her sort of thing um, I should get back to her about that see if she's still up for it yeah I can start with a different character on a different class Like, how much health do you even have? Like, the chains do, like, a quarter. I 
have to wonder how those uh, people got all the way here. All right, yeah, bleed every like eight seconds or whatever it was. Oh, that's right. I need to upgrade the uh, thing of this gun to something better. I don't know what, just something better. <laughs> Much if I could just play as that. Oh, Brood Mother. Okay, that makes sense. I thought it its name was Bad Mother. Oh, by the way, did I mention that the chains do that little damage? Oh gosh, did more enemies just like drop out of it? Why does it change between like blue and white anyway? All right, so yeah, this gun has a good thing to it. Ninety six iron. It's like I kind of need. A lot of iron. There we go, 415. That's an right amount of iron. I still like more though. I didn't. I didn't see that number. It's looking at a different part of the screen. I didn't see that. Oh, birdies. Probably shouldn't stand right in front of the gun anyway. So that altered from before? It's me. All 
Right, cool, awesome. New level means a new skill. Temporal knife on enemy. The blade will ricochet between a max of five enemies within a small radius. And told by you will be doubled. I want this instead of that. Oh, I also get accolades. Okay, cool. I guess. Hey, I remember this door. You remember this door? I remember this door. Right now, I'm right here. Oh wait, is that where the door is? Yeah, because I was over here on the other side. Yeah, the door is way over he like here. Then why did it say that the path... Why do we need to go this way? That's weird. It was like, yeah, no, just go, like, over this, and you can go. <laughs> um, okay, just double check. Oh, gosh, I got a lot of guns. Shots create a fusion blast, which I don't care about, and shots inflict bleed, which I don't care about every one and a half seconds every four seconds and I don't care about the toxic on this either so you know what both 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 shots create an explosion that deals extra damage than a radius that would be cool for this one it's every two seconds anyway And shots generate shield is like whatever. So this is additional bounds. That's two more bounces during the ricochet path. That's cool. Yeah, I'm just. I found armor that's like halfway decent. So this is bow time. Increases your armor. I don't need this anymore. And he's entering this VR afflicted with weakness, but what's this? No. No. And that's a no. I know, I know, I know. I, uh... I should... Not do that. There, and then I can dismantle all of these. And get some new materials here. And then I can go and talk to you. Upgrade my gear to upgrade all of this. Improve rarity just using that. Spheres range by one meters. I know I have that one. I'm sure I have that one. I'll take that one. One, two, three, four. So I, I'm missing a lot of the blades and like one cyclone and a couple of spheres. As well as like all of the uh, floaty guy. Skills mark duration. G magazine. Nope. Improved variety. Like weakness, that might be the one I don't have. Oh, oh, if you look up in the uh, top right corner of the box, it tells you if you have it as a mod or not. So, I don't have this mod. Prove rarity, so I can look at this. I already have that. Oh, the one thing I had is uh, on an equipment, but I didn't have as a mod already, so... Uh, bonus firepower. That's max out. That skills like. I want to equip these gloves instead of these gloves. And then prove rarity. You can do this. That was a bust. And then one more time before triggering the cooldown. Interesting. 
Do you hear that? Ice cream truck is here. I am going to resist the temptation for that, though. So let's remember gloves and take these gloves because, hey, that's nice cooldown reduction. And we can take all of this stuff. And later in the game, yes, we'll want uh, extra blues. We'll want extra blue ones to upgrade to purples, but that's only once we get a lot of a lot of titanium. Until then, let's just take what we can get. And let's also fix up our guns. So this one, I want to mod the gear and I want to change the left one. And what's this? 30% of crit damage crit multiplier is massive, but I don't have extra crit chance. And shots inflict bleed. I guess if I make them bleed, yeah, if I use this and make them bleed, then, like, right? <laughs> They're more likely going to die with one shot. Let's see what else we have here. We already have toxic. We're just missing, like, five things. It's below 50%. Ricocheting to three enemies within a five meter radius and inflicting burn. If they are, like, you know, close enough together, then sure. Oh, armor piercing increased by 30%. Just keep reloading. Um, killing shots, but the shot doesn't kill the thing. Shots ricochet to another enemy within a 5 meter radius. That seems good if I happen to find two that are close together. One, you know, one set of three bullets can get them. And yeah, I kind of want that one, but with the other gun. Or just extra crit chances. Yeah, because 5 meter radius is like nothing. Uh, or just... Shots inflict like freeze, like whatevs. The nearest enemy. Shots regenerate your health. That's also good. But this already has life leech. So shots generate shield. Yeah, and then I can run into battle. Sure. Place in slot one and use some armor for, uh, iron for that. And this gun. Fusion blast. I'll keep the fusion blast and get rid of the bleed because... The bleed isn't as useful as, say, yeah, because I'm either, but if I'm fighting down some big enemy, I kind of want the other gun and to run away, but if I'm fighting down, if I'm shooting an enemy with this, I want to, man, this reloads semi-quickly, I can just do this, boom, 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 reload, bloop. Shots inflict slow would actually be useful. Ricochet would also be nice. Shots create an explosion that deals a bunch of damage to enemies within 6 meters. So I'm, so I'm going to mod slot 2. Keep the fusion blast. Alright, Jacob, we need to talk. I don't know what's up, but it's time to go. Prepare the truck. Back to the trench. Yeah, I, I go on to the game. I play it for like an hour or two at a time, and then I stop, and it's like, with my poor memory skills, I don't remember what was like going on before. I've forgotten that I set up LEDs in the kitchen. Thank you. So what if it is? Huh, I wonder. They say he's got, it's like, how do you know? I just found out recently. 
who did I tell? Did I tell Jacob or, or Jacob or did I tell like the uh, the big guy? Vision revealed Mo Mocha, my Mo Mocha. I'm t I'm taking your ammo. Gosh, yeah, I know I have superpowers and stuff, but you don't have to insult me. It's kind of rude. So it has been like 30 years, right? Well, that was not such a great cutscene. Okay, okay, so we have all of our people here. That skill does seem kind of fun. Just kind of skip a rock across their bodies. So, I am curious though. Because like the weapons, like my weapon specifically can do such great things. So, like, I know that I only have, like, the superpowers because I'm an altered. Like, no one else can do that. But are the guns also an altered thing? Can, like, only altered, like, use, like, modifiers on guns or something? Gosh, Soldier died in like a ready to go pose. Oh gosh. Sigh. I guess it would be interesting to play like a say Call of Duty type thing where it's like eight on eight with like this. Like, whole big lobbies of just a whole bunch of altered all fighting at once. Just kind of just total chaos, but
I don't know why, but I couldn't reload right there. I also can't, like, aim or anything. Yeah, I have two elites coming at me here. Come on. Overlord's boots. So we've gone to the point where we're pretty much primarily picking up blue. I'm guessing... I'm guessing that's a world level thing. Increase that. Oh, it's not hold, it's a uh, toggle run. Eight enemies left? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, now eight. Um... Come on. Keep hitting the wrong button. I kept hitting control when I meant to hit, like, space. How did none of them bother to, like, shoot that one? Gosh, I really don't get much shield out of that. Done.
Come on. Poof. Poof. So, as you know by now, I get off into, like, random, like, thought tangents from time to time. And just now I was thinking, like, in a, say, fantasy world with, like, you know, elves, dwarves, whatever. Could it be possible that certain species as a whole have allergies to stuff because like humans of course there's stuff that like humans just like can't have because it's bad for us you know like certain mushrooms are poisonous to us whatever I'm sure grass doesn't do well to us either all that stuff uh and like, hey, uh, if a cat or a dog has grass, they'll just like, you know, get sick. If they have chocolate, they'll die. Like, whatever. It's the thing like, oh, elves can't have like this. Like, dwarves can't have, I don't know, fruit or whatever. Like. But I guess that de would depend on if. Because, you know, like, humans and cats are like, you know, not different races. Where. A whole different species entirely. What about, I don't know, a goblin? Would, like, all goblins be, like, allergic to a certain thing? Yeah, and before any of you come in and say, it's like, no, humans don't have, like, a shared allergy or whatever. I, there is a control done in allergy tests that's, like, dust or whatever. That they use to determine if people actually do have an allergy to stuff. And, I mean, to be fair, I was a kid at the time. But I was told that they do that because everybody has an allergy to it. So they can use this control to see... Yeah, because if you've never gotten your allergy tested, I mean, might as well go and get that done. Especially important for children... If they don't have an allergic reaction, have to get hospitalized or die because of something. Yeah, just double breacher, just like right here. Uh, yeah, what they do is they stick a whole bunch of little, like, needles in your, like, arm, or wherever, really, but for me, both times, it was my arm. And then they, like, send it all in to get, like, tested, whatever. And based on whatever they get back, it's, like, based on how the, uh, how your skin reacts to being injected with the Sort of things. I don't know what was up with the uh, the gun style just there, but based on how your skin reacts and like how much of a like bump there is, shows uh, how allergic you are to it. It's all very scientific and stuff, of course. No! 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 Oh, 
I was, I was trying to get it to cover it, and the game was like, um, how about instead you like don't? Okay, so maybe having Toxic on this gun was actually a good thing. And I should go back and, like, put, I don't know, Bleed or something on it. Because I didn't realize that that was actually part of what was causing the damage, all in all. Because I didn't realize how much damage, like, Toxic did. Do do do. Gosh, I still remember playing a Call of Duty game for the first time and being absolutely amazed that they let you, like, change from, like, standing to crouching to, like, prone. Like, that was just incredible. die. Oh my gosh, two cremators. Like, why though?
Okay. Are we done? Not quite. Buddy. We good? Okay, holding down Q does that. I don't know why I'm just looking at the weapon. Oh, shoot. Episode should be over. Yeah, last one was short. This one is long. Whatevs. Why are the trees burning again? Ha 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 ha. 